In their findings, the EACC revealed that on November 17, 2017, Jill penned a letter to the KCPSB, seeking the appointment of certain individuals to the MIU. Subsequent investigations divulged that on November 24, 2017, three members of the KCPSB instructed the board's secretary to issue appointment letters to candidates nominated by the governor for positions within the MIU. Shockingly, the positions had not been advertised, a violation of legal procedures. As a consequence of these findings, the EACC recommended that the former governor be charged with abuse of office under sections 46 and 48 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act. The EACC also pressed for charges against three other board members who were implicated in the irregularities. Former Kitui Governor Charity Njilu is under scrutiny as investigations into alleged abuse of office during her time as county leader could lead to a decade-long jail term. A recent progress report released by the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission on Saturday, August 12, has brought to light accusations against Njilu. The former governor is said to have irregularly appointed individuals to the county's Manifesto Implementation Unit back in 2017. Furthermore, Njilu has been accused of improperly influencing the Kitui County Public Service Board, thereby violating the law by advocating for the appointment of unspecified officials. These allegations were brought to the attention of the EACC through a complaint filed by the board, which subsequently initiated thorough investigations. However, upon receiving the investigative report on June 14, the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions directed the EACC to carry out further inquiries into the matter before proceeding with any legal actions. Section 48 of the Anti-Corruption and Economic Crimes Act stipulates that if convicted, Njilu could face a fine of 1 million in addition to the maximum 10-year imprisonment term. This development has raised significant concerns regarding governance and ethics within the public sector, emphasizing the importance of upholding transparency and accountability in public service.